Lovely. Uh, Rennie, which direction am I going for these beat bags? 130, and I'm going to have to move Hercules, I think, because it's too far away. Or, sorry, Atalanta, rather. So I'm going to go Roger. 30 meters, 130. Raj. But we do before yep. we before we go over there. We do want to be on bottom for that. Yeah. Because um, just don't know where they have landed exactly. Sure. For folks wanting information about Hercules, just head over to NautilusLive.org. Click on Science for and Tech. Map. And there's a whole um, Can we step section three zero meters bearing one three zero? Thank you. Roger. 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 There's a lot of Rogers in this van. So it's let's look in, uh, we'll get targets. Well, it's be bag covered in sediment. Most things should be good except for thrusters. Is this something or just a rock? Yeah, something over there. Inanimate. Are we strung out? Uh, yeah, we, we have a ship move in um, yeah. to, to get to the bead bag drop site. Um, That's in the crosshairs? Yeah, uh, Roger, the crosshairs. I can do a target there if you want. Or Could you make them darker red so I can see them less? Yeah. Yeah. If we could get the blue lights on it. <laughs> if you get the blue lights on, we wouldn't have this problem. No. I'd be asleep. Wouldn't have any problems. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have many problems, Renny. We need you. Bag. <laughs> Maybe bag. Maybe. Maybe bag. There's a line in the right. What's yeah, up? that's a cable. That's probably our EDCP cable. We all noticed. We were so in the zone, though. Yeah. No, CP? we were like, yeah. Like, yeah. In camera? No, I knew. The second I changed. Woke me up. Woke me up so I knew exactly when it happened. Holothurian. Cable. What's that cable doing? <laughs> Is yeah, oh, that to the ADCP? It could be the ADCP. It's hard to know how far. Like these cables kind of cross and zigzag, the one between the ADCP and the Nexans cable to the Cascadia Basin node. Mm -hmm. If it's yellow, it's the node cable. If it's PBOF, it's the ADCP cable. It kind of looks like the node cable, the way it's curled up like that. No. PBOF wouldn't do that. Waiting on uh, Atalanta. Yeah, Ron, it's gonna it's gonna be a bit at these depths. I tried to put it in a place that'll still reach the IP when we go back to it. Can I grab an opportunistic zoom on that sea star or whatever that is? Let me come down. That one there? Yeah, that one there. Get a closer. Light it up a little better. It's like a leather That's not star the or something. Controls. <laughs> yeah, now the magnum's right, but you, <laughs> your birds are wrong. Okay, Ed. Coming in. Blink. 
Big one. He looks so lonely. Yeah. There's just not, there's not much around. He's like a little friend. Nice. Oh, yeah. To the left. Yeah. Or lunch. Okay. That's, That's bad. Enough. Everything Thanks. down here is lunch. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. What else can we look at while we're waiting? Our next sans cable. Dave's phone. Lunch. Everything oh, yeah. down here is lunch. What's that? Speaking of lunch. Squiggly. Squirrel. I like when Dan gets uh, distracted and goes following something. Actually, that, man, it's not Dan, it's Dave Wright that says that. He says, sorry, I puppied off on you. How come it went all shadowy? I want it to be shiny. The shrimp? This guy. Is that a sh oh, it's not Because he's out of the light. Yeah, yeah. down light's on. Oh, it is squiggly, though. There you oh, go. Oh, there Paula he is. Key. Yeah, Paula. Oh, We've yeah. seen one of these guys before. Swim yeah, up. we did see Zoom one. Zoom in yeah. a little bit, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Looks this like he's be running easy. but not going anywhere. Oh, he's getting really close. Inspiration from Michael Jackson. Really close. Been Real close. See you later, buddy. Real okay, close. see you. What? Uh, it's just back up. Not. Whoa. Whoa. Later. Up, up, right run away. Way. Little ride. Yeah. Infinity and beyond. <laughs> Telling his grandkids about that ride. <laughs> yeah, First there was these giant up. lights. Then... <laughs> yeah. It's the perfect storm. I guess we're super deep. It's going to take a little while, eh? Hey? Yep. What else can we look at? Uh, the Sea Star's little buddy. I've seen those in the water column. I haven't seen those on the bottom before. So I'm going to do a DVL reset is from that heading change that we were mentioning what's that over there that's just cable cable yeah cable. yeah it's a thing dead ahead right now if i do a quick snap you'll see it you want to look at something Matt? yeah that gelatinous thing straight ahead to the left of the sea star to the left of the sea star yes yeah, right there it's dead ahead ah you can zoom if you'd like. That guy. Anemone. Anemone. It's so wee. It's a oh, baby. Oh, there's a tiny worm. Yeah, baby one. There was a something on the, um, on the cable. There's some growth. Want to put lasers on? Int really interesting. Sure. Oh, it's just Coming up. Your call, is it? Can you please put lasers on? <laughs> Boop. Pew. Do a laser zoom. Pew, 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 pew. Hope these are set to stun, not kill. Phasers? That's pretty big. Yeah. Okay, Ed. Thanks. Thank you. That sea star must be huge. Yeah, yeah that's a fatty sea big. star. Fatty. Is that another 25. one there to the left? Hit the treadmill, maybe? Just on the edge <laughs> of the light? Or is that on the left, you said? Yeah. Okay, Top there's left. There's a jillion things here. Top left. Oh, oh yeah, maybe it does have a friend. Right. Somebody tell us trade. Looks like you got a bit I of leash. Right there, yeah, right on the nose. Just at the edge of the light pole. Little leash, little leash. Five, not really four meters direction, out. It's all right. Biology. Could just be a hummocky bottle. Oh, hump of sand. What's that stick? <laughs> okay, turn and right. Do we see any targets on the sonar for Do bead bags? See not yet. Is that Excalibur there? Well, so Shout it out to 30 yeah, meters. Yeah, that could be the <laughs> my bad LZ stick. Landing zone stick. Mm -hmm. Hawthorian. 
Wow, what is that? It's big on the enemies cable. on the cable. Uh, yeah. Big cu sea cucumber there. Big Holy sea cucumber. Wow. Oh, I think those are an, are those an enemies? Any time really a long. cable is in span, they just latch right on, eh? Yeah. It's the only thing to grab onto. That's a. That looks so alien. Big one there, isn't it? And one to the right's even bigger. Yeah. Mr. Ed, we'll zoom. Please. Yeah, coming in. Just about there. Whoa. Right there. Big an enemy. I think these two enemies have differing views on which way to face. I think the other one's facing upside down. About different parts of the current, I guess. Yeah. All right, Ed. Thanks, Coming man. out. One more scope. A little more, yeah. Okay. I don't think I've seen these before. Oh. There was, there was a target on your sonar here just before you turned. Uh, yeah. About 25 meters away. That cable is there. Could right be the ADCP. Yeah, I just. Oh, okay. That might be the ADCP out there. Or it might yeah, be a back. Yeah, it's right there. It's not. Three there, ranging from Good call. Like 22 out to 30 meters. What do you want me to do, Ray? Yeah, let's try them out. What, if you got the scope, you can try to... Tar those targets? Yeah, let's see if we can see what... The, just the edge of our... I mean, they dropped it off the side, so there's no telling where, where it is. What's the range there? That's... First one's 22 and a half. Still away. Yeah, sorry, yeah. But you've got a couple of small targets on the seafloor as well, and they run into it, running away from it. Okie dokie. I don't really understand why Atalanta is moving in the way that it's moving, but we did a heading change during that, so maybe that was part of it. But is your heading centered on the A-frame or the? No, it's centered on the aft, but uh, Atalanta at these depths is not always centered oh, directly gotcha. aft. Right. There's been something there before. Yeah. Uh, there was something here. That's mm -hmm. that's ninety degree angles. In the distance. See that imprint on the bottom? Yep. It's probably the ROV sled. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's clearly aliens. Nature doesn't <laughs> do nineties. Oh, there's our LZ. Yeah, Excalibur. Yeah. Is that? Do I need to mark that? Is that significant or no? Uh, we have it marked in our site layout diagrams. It's not. It's not significant. It's not no. something we need. Yeah. Are we seeing anything? This is pretty flat I mean, here. Do you want me to turn off the down more? lights sure. if you want? Yeah. Turn the there off. Oh, okay, good. Just a lot of stuff in the water. There's something out there. You see to the right of the lasers. Now in between the lasers. Yeah, that looks like an ADCP. Oh, okay. There is something else beyond that. Uh, maybe on the left, spot five, six meters to the left, yeah. There's a pie piezometer. Yeah, right, okay. Piez piezometer? Yeah, piezometer? the target is just here, but I don't know what that is. Piezo. To the right. It's, I think it's another instrument. Ooh. What is that? Seeing any that targets out there? That looks alive, doesn't uh, it? I was chasing one kind of. I think we should go back to the nav target. Yeah. Go back left, yeah. Okay, coming around. As long as we think it's uh, not in the ADCP oh, cluster. That critter? Yeah, that's a, that's a Holotherian with a big um, fin on the back. Oh, yeah. It's got, I forget the name of it. Yeah. This purple has got this weird tall fin. Whoa, that's pretty wow. cool. Wow. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Lunch, Dave. It's lunch. Lunch. All right. ADCP looks half in the mud. Yeah, that's funny. Sanitation, I guess. Okay. Coming back to the nav target. It is amazing how straight down these things do seem to drop. Yeah. 
Let's see if we get any targets out here. I don't know how proud they would be, though. Yeah, it's tough with one, you know? Yeah. So how many know. did you drop over? Two. Two. Two, yeah. I'll just be, I'm sure they're not next they're to each other. They're landed right on top of each yeah. other. <laughs> Perfect. Doesn't right. this bottom look lighter colored over on the left there? Yeah, it does. Like it beanbag white color? Mm. <laughs> like an exploded beanbag. Yeah. Uh, Doubt it'd make that crater, though. It does look like beads, but I don't, not 100%, and I don't see any bag. Yeah. not a bag of beads. So, let's go back to the nav. Not seeing anything. There's something to the left there. On the left? Oh, yeah. Or yeah. is that, that in the promising. water column? Uh, something. Is that a stock sponge? Looks like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a bead bag. No. Let's take a little look left. It's a stock sponge. Probably weighs about a gram in water. Where could they be? Still on their way down. <sighs> Not after those transects. Well, this is pretty much the target we're approaching now, so they could still be further south. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. if we swing our head to the... Want to go south? Come around port. Small target, just here, which would be off, just off to your left, 10, 12 meters. Uh, looks maybe reflective. Nope, fish. That might be what. Oh, something, oh, something else out there. I think you'll need another or step. A leash. Yeah. Well, why don't we yeah. exhaust it, the leash at least? Just kind of like go all the way left and all the way right and see if we see anything. But we'll be, I'll probably just bump south right now anyway. Roger. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to go look where I can look in the meantime, which is going to be closer to the ship. And Bridge now. Stay down low if you can, mate. Uh, step so one on five time. meters south. Thank you. Is that something Stop. there? Uh, and we'll go like all the way left. It's just like a rock. It seems like a bit crater weird. mound. I don't know if that's the same stuff showing up again. Thirty meters out, almost. That should just be off the. the that That's should the be the, plat yeah, the platform, the auxiliary platform in the BBS. Okay. Um, maybe go around the other way, huh? Unless we want to go all the way. I don't know if we've looked no, in this. Go there? Just, Just look in it. Yeah. Look, yeah. Roger.
pretty small target right on the nose. Not anymore. Yeah, another one just to port 27 meters. That doesn't look like our infrastructure. Yeah, try try that target out. Oh yeah, I think we've been there. Yeah. Well, we got to go this way anyway, trying to interrogate south. Yeah, there's that Excalibur again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it moved us a little bit further We're south. Out of land. Roger. Track. been to this these two things before yeah that's yeah. where it looks like we've been all right coming around all the way around you think that's the adcp and the piezometer that's but it? yeah it's, it's might as well check those out because we okay. i don't know that we i don't know we, like i'm trying to think about where like the bag radius you know we seem to cover the north part we're moving south might as well scope it the zigzag while we go south yeah No, I see That's your ADCP. ADCP there. Yeah, yeah. And then What's the other to the thing left? Just off yeah. to the left. Yeah. The, the piezometer should be off to the right. I see something in there. Just far left. left. Is that just a rock? You just see it just outside well, of the something light. Something there. Is yeah. there? Yeah, there's something right there. Is that a sponge or back? what is that? No, that's a in the water column. Sorry. Oops. What's that? That is maybe the pizza runner. Yeah, it looks like it looks like there is that's that monkey fist that's what's on the cable. it. Milk crate. I don't know what that is. Oh. It's got a monkey's fist on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's university. Oh, it's labeled here as University of Washington trash. How much does that weigh? <laughs> oh, what's that? Another rock, probably. Yeah, it looks like a mound. We are in new territory-ish. Hmm. Zag around. That's quite the mound. Yeah. Think anything lives in there? That's a full wrap you've got in it. Right, yeah. Thank you. Whee! This is a good heading here. All right, yeah, just drive east, I guess. See if we can this new ground over here. Put a beacon on the bag. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Or a radar reflector. Would that work? Yeah, some kind of reflection. Maybe. Contact just here. Roger. 
22 and a half meters off to port. We have a question about if we're using a specific search pattern or what kind of yeah, method we're using to look for this. Bob and weave. Um, I guess they can't see it online, but we have a navigation. I might be able to put, is that engineer that's on? Uh, talking ROV, about the snail trail? You, you were t yeah, there's RavNav has the kind of the snail trails and then the engineer has the scanning sonar that we're looking at. Scanning sonar. So we're looking at targets in our scanning sonar and we're kind of generally encircling the bag target. But um, remember that we're, you know, 2,600 meters deep and Hercules only has so much tether, so we have to place... Atalanta in a place in a kind of in a way that we think the bags could be. So I put that okay. display on set three showing no targets right now. Was I chasing a target? Uh, there was. Well, I think might have been, maybe it was those if you peel around left, yeah. I was chasing the target, and then I forgot I was chasing it. <laughs> I think the target went away. It could have been this cable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good as place as I need to look for bead bags. And still, yeah, in the, still in the zone. And I can't go any further away, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I think south is as good as any to bring Atalanta kind of just right over the target. You know, it's only, I'll yeah, come yeah. a bit further. Yeah, sure. 15 meters, 150. Bridge nav. Step 15 meters, bearing 150. Go ahead, Dave. I gotta find this bag. Thank you. So I'm putting Atalanta right over the bag target. Roger. And Anywhere you don't see green squiggles. That's, Go there? Yeah, that's all we got, really. And that's the answer to the question. Yeah. We go where we don't see green squiggles, which is where we've been before. Yeah. We Come on. Come on, baby. No, not at all. Not once, because I feel like we were pushing that. But it's not funny. I appreciate that, Josh. Hmm. Well, I wonder if we don't find them, if we can rejig the dive plan to work with the CTD on the porch for some time until our feed bag bundle gets down here. How much does the CTD weigh in water? CTD weighs, uh, hang on. Oh, I have that right here. CTD. 15.1 uh, kilos in air. That can't what? be right. Wait, water, 20, 21 pounds. 21.12 pounds in water. Yeah. Well, I got 23% uh, down to keep level right now. Maybe just a touch more. 25%, but another 20 pounds is what, another 10%? So maybe we'll just be able to work. Trevor? Sure, what could go wrong? We could, f we could not be able to go down and float all the way to the surface. Mm -hmm. That's what could go wrong. But that's not gonna happen. That was a joke. Have nope. you found the bead bags yet? Nobody laughed. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, try looking. We'll just do one more pass here, and Kay. if that doesn't work, then maybe we'll... We could either try to work, or we could keep the CTD on our porch while we go and start our bead bag, our, we'll our excavating. Um, whatever you'd like. I know these CTDs don't like to be around. The mud? Yeah, I think, I think we'd just go... The old one would, like. 
Yeah, but we'd have to, to do the swap, we have to go without any CTD or BBS on the porch. Don't we pick the old one off first? Um, put it on the porch, put the new one up? Yeah, that's an option. If we've got the porch space for it, then we can just carry the old one around. Mm -hmm. And then we are not so concerned. No, then we're not so concerned. To What's you that? Get ahead, straight, slightly right. On my right. No, it's just a rock. Yeah, there have been a lot of bee bag shaped <coughs> rocks. So many bee bag shaped rocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of peek to port, see if we got anything out as we look out. Out yonder. I range the sonar out to 50. Okay, okay. What's the other frequency tell me? Anything? Maybe a fish ate him. Yeah, probably. Or took them. <coughs> yeah. This seems wild. Like, hi. I mean, we're we're in a huge search radius at this point, but it could be that we didn't have our headings looked. At, you know what I mean? Like, we we went yeah. there, but we didn't look all around. But I don't know how much they can go when they're just free falling. It is really deep. What was the ship's heading when they were thrown over? The ship's heading was northwest. And okay. it was sitting kind of over the IP such that the transom was where the target was. The okay. Target. Um, I'm very surprised we haven't found it. My gut tells me they're here. Could yeah. Could, could, yeah. Where? Say again? It's here-ish. That, that would make sense as far as if the offset changed. Um, yeah. So we're we're still, Atalanta's still going south to allow that move. So okay. might as well keep, keep on looking. That, that distinct mound we've seen? Possibly. So we'll try a bit uh, west of the of the ADCP, south and west of it. Oh, that seems quite far from the draw. A couple things in sonar there. 25 meters, a little bit to starboard. Yeah, let's try that out. <coughs> it's been there for a couple passes. Uh, yeah. That could be the uh, University of Washington stuff. Is any of that tall? Well, the cork's the only tall thing around here. Thank you. Aside from the monument and the Got hydrophone. 25 meters dead ahead. What's that? What? Where? Straight ahead. Looks, looks like right. a bee bag. No, looks like a bee bag. <coughs> Maybe. Is it? No. No. Oh, it's an instrument. What instrument's that? It's an I instrument with a bee bag on it? I don't know. Don't say that, Trevor. Okay, I won't. Uh, what is that? I ha should have it in my site layout diagram. Is that the piezometer? Maybe. Uh, I don't see any electronics, so I just see metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's go do let's go do the CTD swap differently so that we can keep a CTD on the porch. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, back to the IP. It will be over here. That's actually the last place we haven't searched to. Yeah, that that direction back will help us for the. If you come to port, I can take my turn out. Is that what you'd like to do? I think so. Otherwise, I'll follow you to starboard and keep going until I get a full one. So. Roger. Where'd my pen go? I dropped a pen.
There's that instrument on your left there. Another thing here. I like that one a lot. Straight ahead, yeah. Yeah, there's something there. 12 meters. There's also two things. It doesn't make sense to be the ADCP. And it's, is that like right at the bead bag target? Ish. And there's two of them. There's two things. Slightly oh. left and slightly right of straight ahead. 12 meters. There's the instrument on the left. What's the thing on the right? That's the ADCP. What's this thing? That's a sponge. <laughs> oh, that's the University of Washington stuff. Okay. Never yeah, mind. in here, seen that. Never mind. Go dogs. <coughs> Sonar test complete. Confirmed works. That ADCP seems different from your nav quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, Rennie's doing a changeover. Yeah, sorry, what was that? The ADCP target on like high pack is is pretty far off, it seems. Yeah. Um, do you have the range and bearing from the IP to the ADCP? Uh, yeah, uh, I do. But it's calculated, so it might come from that coordinate. Uh, okay. Gave. But I, I can give it to you anyways, and you can see if it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 44 meters at 170. At 170. 44 at 170. Yeah, that's more like the um, the target. Okay. But I don't think that we're necessarily seeing that in real life. We're, yeah, I mean, covered a lot of ground. Yeah. I'm not ruling out that it's in the regions we searched, just out, you know, slightly out of... Slightly out of our line of sight, but the the sonar seems to be pretty reliable. Yeah, but there's you know we get closer to the instrumentation, and there's suddenly a bunch of hits. So like, which do you explore them all? The hits are not large for that stuff like the ADCP. Yeah. So it's hard to hard to know. Watch change of video. Roger. Where's this IP? Uh, should be. Two. Two. Question mark. Let's see. Is that it on my left? I think so. Is or is that? Is that just a bunch of? There yeah, it there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why these. This is like gained really weird. So it's a bit. Bummer. Okay. I'm surprised they're not there. I really don't think it's going to be an issue to just get rid of another 20 pounds, but you know the vehicle better than I. Roger.
<laughs> nah. No. <laughs> yeah, just drop some more. Go, go out there and just don't, don't say anything. Yeah. Just start tossing them up. All the sides of the ship. The front, the back. Right. <laughs> Maybe we should have just thrown a beacon over. Is that a joke? No, then you can find it. I still, I don't... You can use it as ballast. You can't hear me? You're putting your mic by your mouth. Oh, I was so loud in my own ear. Oh man, how much side tone does a guy need? You can't hear me? Now I can. Great. Wow. <laughs> Great. I could hear you before, Trevor. Now you can hear me extra loud? Now Did I you say sugar? No, I said Trevor. <laughs> no, Trevor. Oh, I thought she called you sugar. <laughs> oh, yes, that's what I'm going to call him. Well, I don't know. I'd like to be called sugar. I'm pretty sure that was covered uh, in the sexual <laughs> harassment training. Sugar? That's not sexual. If you'd, you could maybe be I like... Oh, no. Uh, but calling people by baking soda? <laughs> baking soda? Names, that's probably that's not the best. That's too many syllables. Huh? Tomatoes? Too many syllables. Okay. Tomatoes. tomatoes. All right, tomatoes, what are we doing next? <laughs> That's a good name. Okay. Uh, we're I can't say your last name We're waiting anyway, for so. Dirk and AJ to, to have the longest conversation ever. Yeah, they're doing a handover. Their hands, they're over. Those fingers are way these, longer. These are, these are Dirks, yeah. <laughs> All right, Josh Tomato. I'm waiting. Figured out. What's going on there? Uh, what's going on there? What's going on where? The Delta? I just really am low. I, am I crazy? No, you're really, really far ahead, so I'm really, really low. Oh, I was just, I was freaking out by the <coughs> red numbers. Red? Yeah, ignore uh. that. Hey, Josh, do you want, or, uh, Trevor, do you want me to adjust your side tone? No, I turned it down. Okay. Thank you. You have to do it in a certain menu. I don't. I didn't know you could do that locally. You can do that with the uh, number three key, top oh, right. That, that's that? a little uh, fast button. Shortcut. Nice. Cool. <coughs> ah, yes. Mm. It scared me. That was unnecessary scourge. Sorry. No, you didn't do anything. Sorry. Sorry. I thought Sorry. it was a minus first. That was my brain. That was what my brain was saying. Brain. Uh, you're minus 73 right now? So we don't need the... Oh, sorry. I don't think that's true. I thought we were heavy before. <laughs> Are you talking to me? No, he's talking to AJ. He's handing over to AJ. Where are we on this dive plan? I wonder if we want more than 10 meters because you got to do that CTD action over there. Oh, so, oh, CTD action? I, I guarantee that whatever we plan and set up for, it's going to be different. But okay. if it is the CTD, that I would be... I was trying to like hedge my bets because I wasn't sure what we were doing next. Neither, no one is. <laughs> is that a Dave? Aw, oh, Dave. Bagless. Um, at least, hopefully, by the time they figure out what we're doing, uh, I no, we know what we're doing. We're just doing a transfer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no confusion here. Well, Only teasing. Don't Dirk. Know. Hey, ROV, how's your ballast? It's currently, it's fine. We're just gonna uh, do a pilot change. Um, oh, but yeah, the ballast is currently acceptable. Okay. Uh, if we ditch the larval traps in a CTD, it will be too light. All right. Um. So we can take the old CTD off the monument and then put it on the porch and then deploy the new one. Yeah. That, that would you, be a thing we could do. You already did a bit of a look around for that for the drop bags? Yeah, can you see ROV nav, the computer? I can see the loops, yeah. Um, what is, uh, but it's very grainy, I can't actually read. Feedback drop, I can see that. Uh, that looks probably high back. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. You want the ROV nav computer? If you can pull it up on your red buttons there. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. ROV nav. Okay. You see the green squiggles? The spaghetti everywhere? Yeah, B-bag drop. This is the drop. So that's where, that's where, is that like the corner of the ship where they dropped it from? Yeah. Okay. Um, and what is uh, Atalanta doing in the current? Is there any current? It's hard to know. Like where is it? Oh, are you pulling it right now? No. So it's kind of kiting towards the left then, eh? Towards y the west? Yes-ish. If the ship's heading change, if the ship's heading changes, the nav offset will also change. Has the ship's heading changed since we deployed the B bags? Yes. Uh, I just don't want to do this. The first part of this with the B bags on the or with the CTD on the porch the whole time. Could we um, with the old CTD? Yeah. It's bad. What's wrong with having the old CTD? It's on also there? gonna have its cable. Yep. And the cable, like mm -hmm. I don't know, it's gonna yeah. be a mess if we're trying to do all it this work. It will be a mess. Right? Yep. Um, can we humor? And just do one more little loop for this, these bead bags. They okay. couldn't have gone far. Can you show us, or maybe show Megan on ROV nav where you'd like us to go? Okay, so bead bag drop is there. Can we? There's um, nothing that says. Are you looking at the right screen? Yeah, it says BBQ. It says bag. Oh, just bag. Yeah, it just says bag. And that's where we dropped them. them. Yeah, right here. Can we kind of just head south east or southwest of that? Um, kind of where you've already looked. I just want to all... Like right here? Yeah, around that area, yeah. All right. Yeah, thanks. I'll take... Yeah, I just don't like the idea of traveling around with the CTD on the porch. Okay. Dave, I think I'll stay facing the ship and have my... Back end pointed towards you, give you a little more scope. Yeah, no worries. By the time we wait for the ship moves, it's not going to be fast. Turning away now, keeping a nice low delta. So you want us to follow the same track we did, or do you want us to go somewhere else? No, just um, we'll just kind of go straight to where that spot is. Can we get a DBL track. reset, please? Sure thing. Thank you. <laughs> Such pretty red canvas. So you got to know where you're going there, Dave? Yeah, we're going towards that bag, right? Oh, well, we're kind of no. going... Into that big hole there. In the bis yeah. yeah, hole where we have it. Don't want to be squirrels. Okay. Drive where we haven't driven before. I'm watching sonar for anything. Yeah. Psychropodies. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I like them. Things. They have these cool well, little squirrel tails. Oh, cool. That's their back end. Yeah, it's a great flavored gummy squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> they also come in lemon flavor. Wild. It's like a DCP over there. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't know what happened. What's that? That's a sea cucumber. It is a sea pig, isn't it? That's not a p sea pig. It's just a different... It's like a flat sea cucumber. Um, a flat one. Yeah. I can't remember what that one's called. I sent an email to the experts about it because I was like, I don't know what this is. Sea cucumber expert. Yeah. <coughs> Well, there isn't like a key to deep sea sea cucumbers. Mm, right. Oh, 
There's a lot of good stuff around here. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's the University of Washington experiment. Bizometer? It looks very mysterious. It yeah, looks like a car battery connected yeah. to something. It is a car. Nope, I don't know what it is. It's not on our maps. Oh maps. no, it's there. There is that piezometer, maybe 10 meters over starboard in there. Okay. I think what, we've, I think what we've range looked at that. we on right now? 20 total. Okay. I don't know. It could be worth sniffing over there. It's just out of I'll out go of have a look. This is, this is called Cascadia 1026B <coughs> overview. It is gone now. It was there for a couple sweeps and now it is gone. There's something like 15 meters out and there's something really far. Yeah, and which heading is this? I, my screens are all... I'll try it again, see if they're working now. <coughs> yeah, I think just just go in this direction a little more. Should I make a ship move? Well, I'm starting to get a wee bit tight. Yeah. I can come down a little bit. Yeah, you Pretty should make down. a ship move. Can we make a 15 meter move south? Thanks. Nothing more in sonar. <coughs> that. No. Is that something there? What's Where? There. Let me see. Uh, it looks like kind of lumpy. Can we get another USBL reset once you get a good position, please? Sure. Uh, I, think, I think it's a lump. It's kind of. It's a lump. Not very. It's pretty scattered right now. Yeah, roger that. Confirmed lump. <laughs> I'm seeing tugging on the mount. tether now. Okay. It's a um, cucumber mount. <coughs> yep. Okay. What would you like to do, Dirk? Um, if we go slightly more east and then just if like I don't know five five six meters west of our previous snail trail up to back to the IP east or west I heard uh, both west, there west okay so a little bit more west yeah yeah a little more just so we're not going over the exact same track as before yep Do gauges. Did you drop these um, bead bags before diving or after? Before. before. Okay.
Yeah, we're there, but the problem is right now um, we'd have to keep the old There's CQD on. There's a couple the of targets out there to the west. Be worth looking at. That'll require a ship move. meters. Part of, yeah, part of it's a cable, I think. That's the first one. Yeah. It's Five, kinda, yeah. seven meters. But there's two others that are out there on their own. What's, what's this little guy on your left there? I think it was an animal. An animal, okay. Not there. Not that. Um, if you saw some a couple targets, how far out were they? Uh, between Jesus. 15 and tw 12 and 15 meters. It might be worth checking it out. Okay. There we go. This Split cable the goes to a BPR, 22.4 kilometers away. Wow. Nope. Maybe. Or to a... No, I don't know what Right on the end of me reach, like... No, that's not the BPR cable. That's the hits are constant, which is nice. Yeah. <coughs> Seven and a half meters, just slightly starboard. I can give you a little more delta. But we're getting... You're not going to get much gain out of that. No. And I'm just going to get really low. Which is all part of the fun. Yeah, we need to pick up some weight because once we drop the CT, Fabio. Um, just there off to the right. There, yeah. See? So Thank you. we would See. have to keep the CTD with its dangling cable for most looking. of the dive. It looks What's more like a rock. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a, a rock. Rocks. Oh. Uh, it looks like garbage, something round. It does look like garbage. Pot. It is, it's round, yeah. Looks like a pot. Neat. How heavy is it? <laughs> 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 a few more of those pots and we're good. Okay, so I've got one more. Something. I've got something else further to starboard and one that's off to port, maybe six, seven meters. Go to yeah. port first. I think so. Yeah, whichever makes sense for you. It's going to be tough. We are, we are yeah. stretched. That's fine. I'm still 18 meters off bottom, so. I see it right there. Yeah. It's another one of those circles. Another one of them, yeah. Another pot. <coughs> Someone's cleaning dishes. <laughs> I don't think that's a big crab. Neat. Sonar yeah. crab. Yep. Sonar crab. We can grab this garbage if you want, Dirk. Uh, well, if maybe it's steel. Like, yeah, it might be. Could just be a piece of pipe or something. I don't know. Do you want us to? Y yeah, if you want to just poke it, see how light it is. See how in one piece it is. Yeah, if it's if it's a pot, I'm sure it's just gonna dissolve as soon as you touch it. Can I get the arm out, Dave? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Mine is cranked so tight. I'm not sure how you close I can get and yeah, stay there didn't. without screwing they're all the vis. Somewhere. I'll try and be no, fast not, about it. They're yeah. not in the diagram. It's all right. They dropped them Let me come the in surface. and sit down. Oh. No, you're, you're good. Just stay there. Oh, it is a pot. It's got. looks like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It looks know. very it's light. solid. I think it, all right. What do you think, uh, aluminum? Titanium? Hard to say. Titanium, probably, yeah. Larval traps are not in the bio box. Souvenir collecting. They are? Yeah. Okay, well, should I put That's it on the porch? Well, I don't know. I think so. The larval traps are in the starboard bio box. Yeah, okay. Well, they're closed. Supposedly they're closed. Yes. Oh, you're worried about the sediment? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, is it, do you think this is useful? Weight wise? I don't know how much this weighs. I probably not much. Probably not much. Yeah, so maybe just know right put now. it down. Yeah, it's just going to make a mess. Dropped. You're clear, Dave. Yeah, your, your Coming traps up. are closed. Huh? You're close, right? Or not? Yeah. 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 We're trying. If you, if you need this, the problem is up. we can't put them back down because then we're too light. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So that's otherwise we'd put them down. So first set up twenty four percent. Saving for the the less. Yeah. Right now, no, no. The plan is to get rid of it <coughs> once we have some weight on the deck on the porch. Hey, Derek. What if we lower the bead bags <coughs> right now? Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. Um, the only thing we lose by that is we're not dredging while you're lowering the bead bags. Yeah. Let's, Let's work our way up to the IP and see. Never mind. And then at that point, Kay. you're probably right. 
So where am I going for the IP? That's gotcha. Back towards the north, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't see anything that we could use down there. There's one. Did you guys um, try and figure out what this weight is? There's a weight marker down there. No, I don't know about that. Oh, it's right next to the CTD. So right by the IP. It so says that would be weight. really need to know about. Yeah. So you can start and come back up again if you want, mate. Yeah, Roger. I Give can you a little sort slack. Of see you look. Oh yeah. So even flying right now, <coughs> you're pretty light. Or is this well balanced? Uh, well balanced. yeah, we are light. Quite light. Is this the same pot we saw already, or a third pot? Maybe a third pot. What? Pots everywhere. Yeah, there's something else in front of us right now, actually. 10 meters, 15 meters, something? Yeah. I'm coming up slow. Looks like something. Oh, look at that, it up. That could be the cork. Yeah, if it's... Maybe not, we'll find out. I mean, yeah, I think that it is the cork. I gotta go that way anyway, so... But the position's not quite Yeah, Roger. Right. The position will not be right. I don't know if this is a cork or not, but... <coughs> that's a... Looks like a bore. I don't know. Looks yeah. Like, looks like a hole in the ground. Not a, pipe in it. not a bead bag. Not a bead bag. Nope. All right, gonna head back towards the I IP. Like IP we haven't almost. covered this ground either, so yeah. There's this little guy. Is it? Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's still there. No Maybe, yeah. Might just be noise. Hard to say. Oh, off to the right. Turn. Oh, it's an anemone. Big Rats. anemone. It's the right color yeah. and everything. Right, yeah. I ah. tricked you. Uh, yeah, maybe we should make these bags yellow. I've seen yellow ones. Oh, there's something ahead of you there. Cable. Yeah. I can see that. Even down this low, like there's very little on the sonar, eh? Yeah. What's that black thing? Is that heavy? That's uh, an animal. <laughs> Roger. A couple of sea cucumbers, load up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cucumbers aren't that heavy. No. But there are plenty. Hmm. Bummer. Looks like two old sandals. It does. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, kind of just back to the IP at this point. Yeah, working that way. Yeah, yeah. I'll come out wide, you know, like stay this side of that other line there. Yeah, that's a good idea. And just in case we come across something. I don't know if this... Um, is, the, is the stills camera turned on, Trevor? Uh, let me double check. I believe so, but let me double check. Uh, yeah. It is. Huh. <coughs> Getting weird comms with it? Uh, there, oh. Okay, I got it here. Okay, we're in business on stills. That's great. Still business. Still business. Still in business. What's this? More cable. <coughs> cable. Bit of a midwater cable off to the right there. I see in that right. Nope, it's just on the dirt. Just big coils. 
Yeah, Dirk, have you got a lead on some lead? Yeah, right by the IP. That's <laughs> the only, it just says wait. We're not going back south anymore, is that correct? Can we make a ship move north? Yeah, we're done south, yeah. Okay. Megan, can you give us a ship move north, please? Sure thing. Or 20 meters? Towards the IP or whatever you think's best. All right. Bridge nav. I looked at that flat sea cucumber. It's Paleopatites grisia. All right. I knew you, you were dying to know. <laughs> Paleo potato yeah. greasy. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> exactly what you said. Pretty much nailed it. There's a hymenaster. Yeah, I think that that right yeah, the IP's just ahead just of you. I'm starting to struggle there. Yeah. That's fine. We can wait. What did you say those were, Megan? Paleopatites grisia, the flat, uh, purpley ones. Yeah, those are cool looking. Yeah. No, they're right here. Yeah, there's, and then there's the ones with the tail, which is Cycropodes. Oh, you see the paleo uh -huh. one right now? Yeah, it's right to the right of us. Oh, I think the one in, in front of us is uh, Cycropodes, because it looks yeah. like it has a tail. That's the squirrel one, yeah. The squirrel one, the gummy squirrel. And there, like a sail. there's a cool sea star that's just um, underneath our toe. It was pink. What are these things that were on the cable to the right of us? Uh, those are relicanthus, oh. type of anemone. Oh. Though there was some debate of whether or not they're actually anemones or not. That they got to be put in their own category. Hmm. Can we look at some stuff since we're waiting? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. What do you want to look at? Uh, let's look down and to the right by the cable. There's a bunch yep. of things. Over there? Yeah. Actually, it's right underneath us. Is it? This cable right here. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the only note I have for the weights would be big stack of eight. That's all. <laughs> well, I don't know, right? Are they bolted guys. together or? Oof, likely. Could be. Man, it's awfully fine, that sediment. Has oh, yeah. Alvin dove around here? I don't know. Yeah, we are, we are kind of deep. Yeah, the relicanthus, they have these really long tentacles. You see that pink sea star that was down to the right? There it is. Yeah, I see it. I think it's a slime star. They call them that because if you collect it, it just produces lots of slime. <laughs> gross. Yeah, it's pretty gross. But they are really pretty. They come in like pink and purple. Which one was the Hymenaster? The pink sea star. Oh, That's the one. slimy one. Yeah, the slimy one. Gotcha. Uh, what's right behind you in butt cam? What's that yeah. weird triangle thing? The triangular thing there? Yeah. 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 Have uh, we seen that before? No. It looks awfully like a bead bag. Yeah, I'm not going to get my hopes up yet, but... It, it might not be, but... It, very Maybe strange. Swing around and have a look. Might as well. We're still waiting on ship move, I think. So. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer these tight days. Yeah, with a deep dive.
Where is it? Huh. It's a ghost. <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's a cork. There it is. Yeah, that's it's a big, big It's boy. a lot bigger than it looked in that <laughs> rear camera. <laughs> no <Yeah>. kidding. <laughs> is it a cork, Dirk? Cork. Okay. What's cork. a cork? Plugs the hole in the bottom of the ocean. Oh, okay. You don't want to go near that, otherwise but it'll drain. You don't want to put like a log we'd... in the hole in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> yes, I think. I think so. so. Whereabouts do we think it is? Okay. All right, mate. Is it between us and the monuments? Heading north now. Yep, yeah, same. <laughs> Kinds of many there are. <coughs> well, let's have a look. But yes, eight is too many. <laughs> is that a sediment trap back there? That's a larval trap. That's, That's probably what we should have done the first what time. I meant is uh, if we have a spare beacon, drop the be two bead bags down with beacon. Is that really eight? We elements? know they're not dropping here. Dave, if you're okay with it, can we line up for a zoom on that? Um. This weight stack. Oh, I can ask if they're okay with yeah. that. Oh, it's half buried and on its side, maybe. Yeah, oh, from yeah. the stills, it's 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 as deep as it is broad from this side. Yeah, and probably half in sediment. It's like a cube. Okay, so it's too much. It's too yeah. much. All right. Okay, um, can we go to the uh, connector panel just to your right, the one with all the. The north aspect one? The north side, yeah. We're going to maybe need another ship move? The node weight, the node weight is like 110 pounds. I haven't found it, though. Okay. For your reference, if you want to have not. a... We're going more north? Maybe not. Might be worth having a look at the monuments there, just so we know where we're going once we start with the CTD, if you haven't had a look yet. Um, there just sounds like they might have to do a ship move. Okay, I'll just move it a, a little more north. Yep, Bridge you're nav. sea star yeah got a lot of legs all sea stars are cool yeah they are pretty cool we got like double monument yellow. action so what is it you want to see here you see today or once we disconnect the old one this will be where we're going with it what's the float about I don't know uh, it's probably the CT monuments too heavy to move for the ROV okay so they attached a float wild Trevor, question for you. Yeah. How would you feel about us deploying another bead bag with a beacon attached to it? I love that concept. You mean like just throwing it over? You're just throwing it over. Heck yeah. Even with RVs in the water, that you're fine with that? Uh, if we got the beacon on it, then yeah. If it starts coming at us, which I doubt, but that'll if it does, be the then we just move away. 100%. Nice. Okay, sweet. Um, we'll start working on that then while we do the CTD work. You might as well throw two. Two. The beacon itself also weighs something, right? True, but just so we have two down here in case we need them. Rather okay. be looking at them than for them, and worst yeah. case, we'll use them in the uh, the hole. Put. 
his yeah. sediments. So we can Uber only fine. Oh, I it's think very one, friable, yeah. I think one is going to be good enough for the work they want to do, but having two would be good. Do you but know like, which beacon you have? Uh, I'll, they'll have to. They'll bring that information up before okay. they start throwing it, but I don't Kay. know. Yeah, so two beacon, and I have it all removable. Will be the way to do it. I'm gonna come and back. This will give us a good idea where these other ones south out of here, just so all this blows the other way. Great idea. Oh yeah. All right. The ship was right here by bag. That's where they kicked it over on the ship. So that's kind of where they were. So we can kind of use that offset maybe. AJ might have thrown them, thrown them over independently, but. Two bead bags tied together. Yeah, we have so many up there. Just to clarify, at the moment we are not waiting for bead bags being lowered on the wire. No, nope, we're going to start with the CTD work. Okay. Um, you. If you think you can, can you. We can take the old one off, put it on the porch, and then put the new one on. But we won't put the new one on before taking the old one off. I mean, that sounds dumb, of course, but we want the ballast of at least one, if not two, CTDs on. Okay, perfect. So step one would be to then recover the old one and take it over to the um, IP. Okay. Do you want to do that so now, Dave? I'm going to that. The far one, yeah. Far one. one. Um, <coughs> over again, has HA confirmed powers off to these CTDs? Powers off to the CTD J3, port. yeah. Yes. Okay. And you, can, you do this all while sitting down or? No, in midwater. Hovering? Yeah. So I'd get, once we get close, I'll get the arm out. You'll fly it as close as you can and I'll go for the last little bit. So you just say when you're stable enough yep. and I'll go for the last bit. Okay. And once we get close, I'll tell you what we're grabbing onto. It's that white pipe you saw, you saw it this morning. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can spin Atalanta around. Might be still a little too far. <coughs> Just might get another perspective. If you get tugged, give us a shout and I'll yep. spin back around. So you know you're right on top of the IP right now. Yeah, same. Okay. Okay, looks good. And we'll have to inspect how this float is actually attached to this thing. Yeah. <coughs> Let me see. I sit. Yeah, if you come in right this way, I'll sort just of, yeah, straight right, out. Sort of, yeah, right, the current blowing. Totally, yeah. And again, we won't be sitting down, so we won't hopefully raise up too much more. If you're all right, I'll get the arm out in view anyway. Yeah, go for it. Uh, is that what I want? Nope, I want to be this side of that, don't I? I'm going to get all twisted up in that. Yeah. Get out of there. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Let's go over there. We go. That's what I was worried about with that thing. Yep, totally. That's okay. Just got to manage it. I'm going to turn on the down light. Yep. Take whatever you need. Coming You're on. Good. Yeah, so nice, slow and steady. We'll fly over to that white pipe. I'll grab it there and just lift it up. So see how much you can fly the arm in, and then we'll do the last bit manually. Just want to be slightly more floaty. Roger that. I'm just going to give you a bigger pilot cam over here if you want it, if that's helpful. Yep.
on here, and the other monument was a different style. So I think we came down here one too many times with the wrong brackets. Okay, you ready? Yeah, still pretty far, but I am Yeah, ready. yeah, yeah. Arms alive, tell me when. Go for it. It's a little far. Still? Maybe I can reach. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Closed. Coming okay. up. Coming up. Yeah, a bit more. There we go. There okay. You go. Okay. Gonna no, I wear just all to the porch. Back over to the IP. Yeah. And we gotta go to that connector panel, right, Dirk? Yeah, connector panel. It'd be good to follow the cable back to. Yep. Just to make sure. I'm halted there. Yeah, cool. Am I? Now I'm halted. Looks like it might be under that oily. Oh, it does look like that. Maybe uh, a double it unders? Is, yeah. Double Maybe unders, yeah. Double under, good. Okay. <laughs> oh, the panel's right there. Yeah, we're fine. And I think you can tell uh, which one we're going for. Yeah. Next to Goofy. Oh. You mean dust cap? Well, goofy dust cap. Yeah. No, no, what did no, I say? Normal dust cap. Don't tell me you can read that. Because now, now I'm starting to feel really bad about my eyesight. <laughs> yeah, it says goofy. No, no, no. It's just the dust gaps are on correctly. Goofy. Yeah, correctly. All right. So, what are you looking for? Close enough, I think. I thought that was with flare. Flare, yeah. Flare, yeah. That works too. But okay, that CCD's on the porch. Flare. Dual CTD. There are four CTDs on this ROV at the moment. Oh, three and a half. I'll come down a bit more for you. Thank you. I'm just going off pilot cam right now. Okay, so let's think about this next bit. About yeah, this is uh, not and my the favorite. Parking positions. So there's a parking position in the toolbox in there. Um, there's also one in the CTD, I'm assuming. Yes. I'm going to keep stowing this until I'm instructed otherwise, Dirk. Yeah, you can just put it wherever it's not going to fall too much. Hmm. Kind of wedged in there. Kay. Yeah, it's in. Yep. So Halted. Um, okay, so this is think we're going to lay this new cable from the port back to the CTD, is that going to mean that we're going to start tangling our cables? Because we didn't, we can't clear the old cable away because we're not, we can't get rid of the CTD really. So, uh, may I make a suggestion, Dirk? Yeah, go for it. Can we place the new CTD on the monument? Leave the cables bundled up, and then it gets it off our porch. At that point, we're able to open the toolbox safely. We're able to get a parking position out of the toolbox. Yeah, do it. And sort the old one That's out. That's great. I don't, yeah, I'm worried about tangling these cables if we try to do too many things. Roger. In the meantime, we'll just leave the old CTD on the porch with the cable dangling. Yeah, just and there's not too much danger between here and there. Just... Yeah. It's good. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, next step... Oh, one thing. Hold on. Standing by. You are going to be now tethered to... To the IP. To the IP. Yes. Uh, That's fine. We're only going to the monument and back. Okay, and then we have the... 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. So what I'll do right now is I'll grab the new CTD in the minute. We'll get it out front. We'll go install it on the monument, and then we'll uh, reassess. Yes. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. Like okay. Same prop to the dive plan, okay? Sorry? The changes to the dive plan on the fly, based on what you find down here. Totally. Funny. Excuse me, no dust. I'm going to wait a sec for Viz here, make sure I don't pinch that cable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dave, could you line me up a bit? I'll ask for a zoom, please. Thank you. And we can zoom in now, please, video. That's good there. And I'll wait for some biz. Um, well, Ricky, that's a 10 meter cable on the CTD or 15 meter on the old one. I can look it up. That way. The okay. old cable is a 10 meters. 10 meter? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so that cable is 10 meters and it's, um, the CTD Understood. monument's about 5 meters away, so. Understood. <coughs> One and yeah, two. two. Okay, uh, grip is locked. Come wide, please. I'm a little looped on that cable. Let me see if I can twist it off this way while also getting the suction hose. All right, everything's going to plan. Come on. Get out of there. Darn away. There you go. There we go. Okay. I am free, and you are good to move, Dave. Yep. I'm halted out there. Nice. That's the classic neutral stick and just wait. That was great. Now that we're clear of the IP, I'll get this more in a position where we understand what we're going to do here. So the goal is to fly on. Yeah, I'm just going to back off pipe. and of course, yeah, let yeah, it all yeah. clear off from the sub. Absolutely. Right? What do you think their descent rate is, Dirk? The class beads? Oh. Stand by, Megan. Just They're being jettisoned, right? Yes. With the one or two bags with a... Beacon. Beacon. Uh, it would be only a guess. I don't know. Do you think no it's going to take longer to fall than it is for us to put the CTD on the monument? Probably yes. Probably take about 15 minutes or 20 minutes, yeah. Okay. I, th I think we're clear for deployment. But I'm, uh, that's, a, that's a complete guess. We can also, oh, yeah. No, I didn't call the bridge. I'm talking on the radio. I yeah, understood, Dirk. So we're clear to deploy? You good, Dave? Yep. All right. Okay. Deck fan. We're clear to deploy the bead bags. Beacon switched on. Do we have the beacon number? Dave's going to get the number. Two four zero seven. Yeah, that would have been a make work project if we didn't record that. Transom. Transom I don't know. sounds good. Fine by me. Beacon switched on. Double yeah. check that the beacon's on. <laughs> Should be. What are we looking at? That'd be a bozo head move.
which way round. Doesn't matter. Going on. So it's going in the white pipe, this vertical orientation. The uh, cool. pivoting around the post does not matter. This is good because it'll put the connector away from that float. Yeah, um, that's easy. I'll try and line it up in bubble so you have a second view. And you get it close with flying, and I'll, again, I'll finish it off. Yep. I'm going to watch wire cam. Uh, <laughs> there it 40 goes. 40 <laughs> minutes. I also don't know. I, uh, <laughs> hour? 40 minutes? I'm not sure. Roger. 1952.45. Probably an hour, Megan. Yeah. Um. Looks like you're on bottom, Dave. Yeah, it is. Just let her come back up. Hey, Trevor. Hello. Um, the other team... We did one of these earlier in the cruise, and they had quite quite a lot of luck grabbing it with with the with the magnum, like relatively like a foot or so down, and getting it started, and then just slipping down. Okay. Well, if you however you want to do it, but I've just we've never I've never seen that tried, and it seemed to work really quick. So. Cool. I think we're usually pretty good about getting this on. Yeah. No. But if it doesn't work, fail a couple times, then we'll uh, try the other way. Yeah. All right, we have got good tracking on our bag. Thank you. It's pretty, really hard to fly this on, but it's not so bad to fly it close and then arm it the rest of the way. Yep. I'm going to stand by. You, you tell me when you're stable, and I'm not going to move until then. All right. Yep. Okay. Good to go. Get on there. Oh, still got it. Oh, baby. I can let go. Yep. Lock it off. Roger. Doink. All right. So, good work. Thank you. See, that works fast, too. Yep. Whatever. Everyone's got a plan. You betcha. So, we got a connector up there, which we can monuments. Yes. pull against the monument, as per... Right. We were planning, actually, to do that with AJ this morning. So... Uh, we kind of want to just, just, we don't want to move around too much with that dangling cable, so. Yeah, I'm so coming up, back yeah. over to the. <coughs> yep, makes sense. IP, right? Yep. We're all on the same page on that one. We're going to, next thing is um, parking position. Right, Trevor? Yep. Yeah, we'll get in front of the connector panel, get settled, and then. Uh, oh, yeah. No, no, I'm not rushing. So, Megan. Yes. What time did that uh, thing deploy? I said the time out loud and immediately 52. forgot. <laughs> it was at 19.52. Okay, wow. so it's 55 now and it's 10% of the way down. Cool, so 30 minutes and it'll be on bottom. How's it looking? Is it going to land right on our head? Um, no. No, it's, it's kind of far away from us. Roger. Well, at least currently. It's at least 25 meters away. Is it on high pack survey? Um, yes. Thank you. It's the brown one? It's this one. Really? No, is that... An oh, no, it's this, this blue one. Blue one, Roger. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. I, was, I got confused between Atalanta and the blue one. <laughs> Just give me dog, look, about two meters a minute, please. Sir. Oh, sure, yeah, sorry. 100%. Cheers. Maybe when we find this bead bag, we'll find the other ones. 
Yeah. <laughs> but look how far it's traveled. It's gone a long way. Where is it now? So we dropped it over here, oh. and it's over here now. So it's <coughs> like here. Oh, wow. It might do one of those funny things where it starts spiraling around. Or <laughs> where it yeah. starts coming back for, for some weird USBL reason. OK, can you please camera rack in? But I don't I know don't if you know. already are. Yep, we're you in. You already are? OK, um, then can I see the toolbox? And I'm going to grab a parking position. Yep. Out of there. You can open it at your leisure. Hmm, convenient. Underneath <laughs> the old <laughs> state bells. All the way. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a balance with these staples. The for very first time, we thought we were being very clever and put like a, a little six inch string at the top of each one. So yeah. the RV can really grab them and move them around. And then uh, it wasn't great. The scientists didn't love it having this extra vibration for no reason. Right. Uh, let's do uh, this one, toolbox. That's not helpful. Perfect placement. Yeah, absolutely. As always. Swing and a miss. Swing and you a half it. miss. Got like one bolt head. <laughs> yeah. All right, staples. Work, work with, with us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it gonna fit through the staples? It will. Mm -hmm. It will now. I feel like I'm playing <laughs> a weird game of croquet here. Mm -hmm. Oop! Just kidding. Yeah, CDD is pretty much there. Um, a little bit of work to do. This is a couple collectors. <laughs> okay, how many Missy spins D. can I do? There we <laughs> no, go. I don't want to miss the CDD. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming back in with that. Yeah, Roger. Good butter. Whoa. All right. It's your favorite part of going on a cruise is watching these CTD deployments. Just do a quick gear, just check whenever <laughs> this comes in. Great idea. <laughs> Gauges um, are good. Yep. Um, <laughs> no, actually. Now you got a cable in the way if that's going into the Fletcher. That's fine, I'll s push it around. So far, it looks like our instincts were correct in our search pattern, but based on where this is dropping. Uh, this is going to be a pucks first kind of deal. Sure. Can I get a little zoom in, please, video? Good there. Okay, now a little more. Good there, thank you. Yeah. Tricked you all, thought you thought I was gonna get it. There we go. Okay. Come wide, please. Come clear to unplug this, Dirk. Uh, you're clear. Huh. Come down more in case you need a bit of zoom on that. Roger. Bangs are in. Okay. Now what would you like to do, Dirk? Okay, so that one's stage parked. It needs to stay on the, um, we have to keep it on the porch. So it would it would be nice if we just have a belly dangling and not the whole cable with a connector on the end. Yeah, understood. Okay. Um, That's, it can stay on there. Potential. Well, we're going to need this uh, Fletcher. So oh, Roger. Do we, can we, um, can we put this parking position and cable inside the front box? 
or is that going to cause chaos? It won't be chaotic, but it will ruin the video, which I don't mind. Oh yeah, I know. That's fine. Okay, let's All try right. that. We'll start not coming out. Uh, stand by. Let me no, get this. Wait, actually. Yeah. yeah. Get this guy first. And if you think there's a better way to do something, feel free to chime in with your idea. Yeah, I will do. Your ideas are often quite good. Yeah. Fifty percent of the time, they're the best idea. Yeah. Team effort. This is not uh, how I want to do that. No, is the is this not over and under that? It is double under. Right. So we should be okay. Yeah, this is where we're, this is pained evidence with not having laid the other cable yet <coughs> and getting a bit of a wrap. Mm, let me actually run it on the side here, uh, like that. Yep. Just kidding. It wants to go where it wants. The heart wants what it wants. We close it up a bit. You might be able to tweak it better. Yep. With standing by. Sliding. Go for it. Dirk, that's the old CTD connector. That's the old CTD. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Those pins will have a something to say about it, mind. They sure will. Not so bad. I think that's, that's got it all right. Yeah. <coughs> I'm happy. Yeah, it's a, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna clear this double under. If you can please camera rack out and turn right. Yeah. I'd never let Josh know, but my sensitivity around oil is as so drastically decreased after that platform land. <laughs> yeah, real kidding, eh? But do not tell Josh. Uh, the bee bags are kind of approaching you. Yep, Roger. Keeping an eye on them. They circled back a little bit, but it'll be okay. They still got, uh, you know. Three, or three quarters of the water depth to go <laughs> or something oh. two thirds whatever um okay what would you like to do right now dirk so uh, i'm pretty happy with that so if we can come up just straight up kind of thing clear that bundle <laughs> with uh verticals and then we can go back to the instrument panel okay or back to the ctd monument sorry back to the monument so yeah. we'll just come up slow make sure the yeah. cables are clear I did promise AJ 10 bucks if he lands the bead bags on top of the vehicle. So. <laughs> this would be Rye doing it this time. Oh, I didn't promise Rye 10 bucks. All right, now it's pretty close. Yeah, we're still 1,000 meters up, though. Yeah, anything can happen at 1,000 meters. So the saying goes. How far up do you want to go? Uh, I think you've pretty much cleared it there. All right. Uh, I can see from the stilts camera that you have, so you're good. Roger, thank you. So we still have some time uh, before we need to bug out. So I wa don't want to start anything that involves us needing to stay still, but we can start moving progressively forward as long as there's a bug out pa uh, plan. Uh, okay, so well, the next step would be to release the parking position cable from the old CTD. Yeah, that sounds good. And that will, may end up falling in the mud, but if it doesn't... That's no big deal. Yeah. The only thing we don't want to do is we don't want to knock over the frame, but it's going to be hard pulling on it without pulling it over, right? So Understood. But the plan is to pull it straight down. Yeah. To pull the vehicle up, of course, but oh, that's... Oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah. Good work. I was thinking all holding it left, muscling it right. We See? did a good talk through this morning with AJ, so. 50-50. Just gonna get this out and halt it. Yep. So. Give you forward view. Sorry, because I wasn't really listening there. Yeah, I just Roger. wanted to find this. What are we doing first? We're gonna go grab that connector. Yep. Uh, there's two cut washers on there on two tie wraps. Yeah, And the plan right. is to free it. So whether that means grabbing their line or grabbing the connector, I'm not totally sure. We'll have to go look and assess. No worries, on the way. And when we get there, it'll be a drop straight, or pull straight down, lift the vehicle up kind of routine.
so. Hot oh, center, I oh. Wish I'd taken a photo of it. Yeah, I'm trying to remember now. Cold. I think I'm I'm 95% sure we can grab the line, but I'm only 60% sure we can grab the connector to free it. Um, can we get some zoom and have a quick look? Let's see, go for it. Yeah. So the only way I'm grabbing the connector at the same time, sorry, the only way I'm freeing it is with the connector is if I also grab the line at the same time. So I can try for that. And if I fail, that's fine. I'll just go for the line. So, so the bottom cut washer is holding the cable to the clamp. The top <coughs> cut washer is holding the cable to the clamp. Then the connector will fall down. That's correct. OK. And the two cut washers are together. Probably better to cut the bottom one first. They're together. They're the same pull. Oh, the same pull? Yeah. Are you good that. for a uh, zoom out yeah, there, Yeah, come wide, yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, but if you can, Trevor, grabbing the lower one would break the bottom one first. Yeah, I'll try I to grab the lower one with the puck. That's what I'll do. Yeah. That's the goal. That's the goal, because the top one first would kind of let it that spill bottom over. Loop, Trevor, yes. yeah. Gonna go for the bottom loop, correct. All right, coming in. Yeah, and I've got the we've got the bubble cam here too, if you can. Yep. Arms see. pretty far off to the right. Just wanna. Yeah. Coming across. Okay, thank you. And I'm ready when you are. Yep. Bumping down a touch. Roger you that. can go for it whenever you're ready. Oh, snipe. Oh. Straight down. Here we go. Yep. One and coming down. More down, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Got him. You're free to go. Where are we going? Back, Back. up to the IP, yeah. Halted. What a snag, Trevor. Good Ooh. work. Thank you. I snuck the half jaws right in there. Beautiful flying too. Yeah, good work. Can I claim some extra style points by saying I'm pre-jawed in the Fletcher position? <laughs> well, that was just thinking ahead, or is that chance? With Slayer? <laughs> I'm taking your bubble. Yeah, go for it. I'd love a tip down when you can, but don't make that the priority. Halted. Yep. A little bit of a mess with that other cable, but we'll sort it out. Man, that bag is right on top of the vehicle. Right. Holy moly. <laughs> so, didn't think that was going to happen. Yeah, we still got a thousand meters. Not too worried about it. We can bug out any time. Might be a good idea to bug out now. If I drop this connector by the panel there, Dirk, then let's I think we should bug out. Yeah. Sure. I know it won't hit us, but I, you know. So what depths are you can at? The one dropping? Uh, 1,500. 1,500, okay. It's been 18 minutes to get that far, so it's... Uh, uh, I don't know, Trevor. I think you can do it, but it's your call. Yeah, stick with the original call if you're guessing. Yeah, I know I can do it, but like if I can't and we run into a snag, then it's problem problematic. So the responsible thing to do is not cowboy up. It's just get out of the way. Okay, mate, you're good to do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to unfletcher this. Bummer. Oh, yeah, that is, isn't it? But with that other cable hanging, it's just it's not worth it. Yeah, the next thing you know, you've got your cables caught in something and you can't bug out. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's not, nope, not, not right. worth it. Okay, can I see the toolbox, please? Yeah, at least it's not going to hit Atalanta. That's we true. did, yeah, the first time we just could. What do you mean? What's wrong? Oh, hang on a minute. Let me rock back. Roger that.
How many points do you, you get if it goes straight touch? through the IP? Oh, okay. right, in so, or right next to the broadband seismometer would be at the 10 point. Yeah. Yeah, so try out. Yeah. I think IP is almost minus points. Good there. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Okay, great. Let's clear that cable and then we'll get out of Dodge. Arm is stowed, hand secure. If we need it, I'll bring it out again, but right. good so for now. What do you want to do now? I think just let's come up, see if that cable's clear, and then just get out of get out of the way. <laughs> Look at that fish. <laughs> Can I porch in any? Yeah, I believe. Oh, the other CTD is there. Yeah, it's still on there. Yeah, and it's right up, tucked in tight. So I would oh, I would yeah. leave it alone. Oh, it's so happy to see you. <laughs> hey, rat tail. You're oh, going in a really place. bad place, mate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Missed the still. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Too bad. Just like. Oh, well, he's still there. He's just hanging yeah, out. Yeah, he's not going to be for long. Business. <laughs> that's this nail fish, right, uh, Megan? It's a cuskill. Cuskill. Yeah. Yeah. Snail fish. <laughs> oh, well, that's how they call it. That's all right. At least he's out. Back in the mix. Uh, snail fish are like parody. They're in the same uh, um, order. Just hopefully just no drift. Just kill. So we have... There's uh, another yeah, one. looks similar. We still have an unidentified species for this area. I'm thinking we head north. What do you think, Dave? Um, like yeah, north, I need to come... Northeast? That way. Yeah, that just, way. To, just to get away from the, uh, yeah. the bead bag. But I don't know how we're going to confirm that that cable is clear. Uh, if you come up just yet, seven I'm meters. Come up another six or seven meters, maybe. The total length of the old seismometer, sorry, CTD cable is 10 meters? Uh, yeah, it's 10 meters, and I think our tallest thing here is about three meters off the bottom. So Cool, so if we're up 10 meters, then we're definitely clear. Because five meter loop, three and meter tall. Yeah, and the tall guys are those uh, monuments we were just at. Okay. Coming up on my delta. <coughs> yeah, we're definitely not tangled or snagged anyway. No, we're looking good. Nice lazy loops below us. Still coming up on my delta. Let me get this guy out of the way. Cool, 600 okay. meters to go on the package. 10 meters up. And I'm going to come away and then sure. go north. Yeah, I think we want, I said, oh, I said the wrong thing earlier. North. Yeah, let's we go, go uh, east. Right. east. Yeah, east. Yeah, east is best. I was a liar earlier. I'm going to put in here. Oh, yeah, maybe. Trevor, what else is in the starboard bio box? Larval traps, north marker, and cleanup stick. Cleanup stick, all right. Cleanup stick and north marker are lightly connected to each other. What's your plan for these bead bags? Just on the porch? Yeah, the ones that are fallen? Yeah. Yeah, it's on the porch. <coughs> I believe the last step of the dive plan is to recover the old larval traps. Is that correct? Let me check. Yes. <coughs> so that at that point, we can, uh, once we deploy the larval traps, we could even put the bead bags in the starboard bio box, then swap them for the tube traps later. Or the, the yeah, hard, okay. hard clear, are we, Megan? Uh, we're, we're clear. We've got like okay. 20 meters. Lots of polychaetes here, eh? What's that? Polychaetes swimming. Oh. Saturday is the on it? Probably. Got 
Got about 400 meters left. It's exciting. Yeah. It'll be easy to find because there's going to be a big dust cloud. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it's they're really falling where we did not search before. Absolutely. So, kind of in that. Oh, it's now it's kind of heading east again. Oh. Well, there look we at the also look at the relationship between bean bag drop and bead bag drop two. So we kind of searched that same direction from the first drop point to the second drop point, but not really. No, but not not quite far enough. Maybe not. Yeah, because it kind of went like... Yeah, that was funny. That was the shepherd's hook. Yeah. The old shepherd's hook, eh? It's like coming back towards us. It just really likes us. <laughs> Try and get it over to the um, seismometer. Right. Just do a, pick it up. do a ship move and uh, yeah, <laughs> suck it that way. It's just riding the 6-8 the whole way down. <laughs> oh, that would be interesting. Like if it was just like sliding down the wire. got bead bags about 500 meters away from us. 200. 200, yeah. Shipping them with the beacon this time. Yeah, and it's, it's falling right where we were. Were. We moved. Because we were like, oh, it won't possibly land on us. And it was like, oh, friends. <laughs> Gravity sucked it. Yeah, I guess we created a little more gravity right there, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> That'd be really fancy if you can have like these delivery packages and control them by like from the surface, mm -hmm. fly them right to where you want them. Oh, yeah, oh, nice. Like a reverse rocket. It would just be really challenging to be able to control. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to find a way so it can't spin. Mm -hmm. If it's smart enough to not spin, and you can just like use some flaps or something. It has some like little like baby thrusters on it. Yeah. It can like control its own little, heading the, the based on <laughs> yeah. And so it just keeps the same position, so you can just do the left, right, up, down, yeah. one or the other. Like those little... Uh, thrusters they have for your surfboard so you don't have to paddle. Yeah, exactly. That'd be expensive. 